how's it everybody Hawaii Rhino here if you're just starting the video don't stop the video go and get fish footage a little bit later on but YouTube's new thing is that in order to make your channel legitimate you gotta show your face so everybody you can thank YouTube for this glorious moment okay wasn't my idea don't shoot the messenger okay anyway just a little quick background and if you don't like hit a background I don't know skip ahead like maybe three minutes in and fish footage should start around then or unless I go on on rant then maybe it's gonna be like 10 minutes anyway my name is Ryan and first of all I'm not a professional fisher I'm just an ordinary brother that just got back into fishing so a little bit of background me and my brothers was raised in Wailua on the North Shore everything was diving fishing surfing down there my thing mostly was diving when I was younger I didn't have so much the patience to fish I wanted to be in the water and catching stuff so fishing was kind of like a backup we had one small dinghy boat that we used to take out to the second reef drop anchor and then we would bottom fish and that was pretty much the type of fishing I enjoyed in my younger days and got to like high school time then we used to go dunking a lot especially down Mokulea side, um, some areas by Lani's, Chan's, and basically it wasn't even serious about you know dunking. If we catch was great, but we pretty much was there for you know drink, play ukulele, you know that kind of thing. Well, I, I never play, but I, I would sing. Probably not that good, but always had somebody that brought their uke and it was jamming and you know what I mean, make bonfire, that kind of thing. Just having a good time. Fast forward a little bit, had kids kids is in year round spots and just never have time for fish at all or dive pandemic happened i got injured at work had to recover from that still on the recovery side part of my recovery in my doctor said is i have to take up a hobby that i like to do just to get out and exercise and get me prepared to go back to work and you know fishing seemed like unnatural i gotta do a lot of cardio to get to some of the spots that we go to it helps me to kind of test my strength carrying things and of course with the pole kind of test some of my endurance I injured my hand so I, I lost a lot of my grip in one of my hands so that kind of leads into one of the questions that I got from somebody that watched my videos and they asked me hey so what come here you guys don't go a little fishing you know like catch a lure and my thing is yeah I like catch on a lure of course I like catch on a lure but you know that's kind of not really the target fish that we specifically going for you know plenty of guys go and they get all the poles and everything bro lure poles and and reels and stuff not cheap you know unfortunately I'm not rich most of the stuff that I go out and fish with was given to me hand-me-downs from sensei and stuff I get at swap meet I just got back in to fishing maybe about a year now so it's like relearning one whole new game from when I used to fish when I was younger there's technology obviously with the fish cam you guys can see that there's different type rig setups there's different stuff you can add to your hooks to make it look attractive there's put little chum bottles you know and stuff and and I dig all that to me it's like I like being one mad scientist and try anything and so that's the kind of content that I want to provide for you guys and thank you everybody who subscribed and everything thank you guys so much I never started the channel to make it like one big thing I just started them for fun because my brother and my uncle my fishing partners pushed me to that I would always send them footage from the fish cam when we would go send them stuff that hey this thing biting this thing you know they always you know would send me feedback like hey Ryan that thing is neat you should post some of that on YouTube so you know I just kind of started it just for fun and and now it, with all the feedback that I'm getting from everybody it's kind of like hey they really like see what's going on down there so you know what I'm gonna make a more of one fun thing and maybe a little bit more serious try a little bit more rig setup trying all different kind of bait now I'm starting to dive out my line instead of just throwing it out random because sometimes where the fish cam lands and you're gonna see in this video coming up the thing never landing on good spot really so you'll see my bait you'll see it you know kind of attached to the reef and I think if I put it in a different spot specifically placed I think we would have got one hook up just to be honest with you so you know that's kind of what we got in store ahead I had one comment one guy that chimed in he said he watched one of the other videos and he was like all that and you never not one hook up not one fight you know what brother I feel the same way you do like that's what I was thinking you you know my whole purpose to post that video online was to show that get fish and look like they like bite you know the fish is like right there ready for bite and why they're not biting beats me but brother hey if you know send your comment on tell me what you use and what you stay catching with share your oh, wow you know what i mean tell me and then i'll go try them i'll put them on video and if we catch right on cuz so anyway just to show you guys what the fish cam looks like so this is the fish cam sorry the thing looks kind of 
if i can get hold of swivel sorry that's my mumu hand this is what it looks like so it's and it is ghetto because i see one video of another guy that does fish camming up in i don't know podunk missouri or whatever and this is the setup that he uses so it's just one one floaty one pool uh i don't know what they call these things noodles and then you just cut them like in a quarter and then you wrap duct tape around them and then that's the cam and then this swivel attaches to your um, main line. I'm sorry, this swivel, the Okole side, attaches to the main line. The camera side attaches to your um, the swivel and the hook. But, you know, sometimes you don't see that, you can see the bait in the video it goes off screen so i'm starting to put like a leader um i'm starting to put like at least like a two feet I'm trying to get both my hands in the screen there one two feet leader in between the cam and uh where the first swivel starts so that way we can see because get plenty of times you you can see like the screen tugging tugging and get something biting but of course the camera is not on it so kind of irritating yeah but um but anyway yeah but uh, uh you know if you guys tune in for watch like choke action and where the fish is like biting on the line and stuff i apologize okay i like see that too trust me um you know if you, that's the kind of content you like get get plenty of other channels out there for you guys you guys can watch you know and if we get we get action and stuff you know I'll, if we catch anything i'll post it at the end and i apologize sometimes i know the videos to go along with it it just depends you know um most of the time it's of everybody else catching except me um and i'm the only one that really takes the video and the pictures so there's no videos of me in action unfortunately um but it is what it is yeah guys so anyway big mahalos and um hope you guys enjoy the video aloha Yeah, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and the little bell. Mahalo. Freaking stupid Photoshop. Look like I get one extra thumb. Ah, my arch nemesis. This guy is like an expert bait stealer. You can see how he vacuums it into his mouth, not even touching a hook, and he's just kind of working the he's kind of working the meat of the eka, and he's like chewing it, vacuum, chew, vacuum, until the thing is so soft that he just rips it right off of right off of my hook. Love those guys. Cute little palamis in the back. Now he's tugging. So I'm unsure. I've seen little tugs, tugs. I know it's like, yeah, it's gotta be one poo here on something. And of course, now my bait is gone. Famous Obaki is coming in. My bait is gone, and look. So a lot of guys say, you know, maybe the fish are scared of the camera. That's why they're not biting. But I mean, take a look. These guys come right up, right there. Wish I had one tree prong right there. Whack. And he came with his wife now. Like two crackheads, they're looking for a fix. Yeah, see this is what I'm talking about. It's right there. I know these guys see it. This area that I cast it in, it's no deeper than like two feet at the most. 
Yeah, I don't know. The, the, my camera got caught on something, and the uh, current was just kind of taking it all over. I mean, it looks like when Crab or something grabbed my camera and started filming by himself or something. I don't know. I don't know, but my rigs are letting myself down right now. Pool of Manini's in the back. that beat just dancing all around when you have those floats on there I'm telling you it keeps the beat off of the reef keeps them away from the bait stealers makes it visible Typical. Legal size? Maybe. You see the shrimp tail. You can see it almost is like a color of pinkish. You know, like turning red already kind of thing. Um, yeah, that means that it's probably been in the water too long. Fast forward in here, see my pain. Just another reminder, please subscribe and tell your uncle too. Aloha. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This one, from tail to head, gotta be 10, 10 inches. Okay, wait, wait, bro, hold it up. Wait, bro, hold it like that. So it looks big. Hold it up. No, no, more up. Yeah, you guys know. Yes, you sir. guys know the deal. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, that bugger looks huge. Okay. Wee -hee. My brother loves his cast masters. Oh yeah. Oh, no, might have to cross rapids to get back to the car. Cause this just happened. Yeah, so if anybody's familiar with this place, uh, this isn't the this isn't the norm. I mean maybe winter time when it rains a lot, but it wasn't raining that morning. Yeah. Not down by the beach side. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Aloha.